Hi guys, Ancient Warrior. Welcome back to Prepping in Free America. If you like what you hear here, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be the first kid on your block to know what craziness I'm talking about next, hit the bell icon with all. Well, a lot of folks right now are in panic mode. Ever since Joe Biden did his executive move. Let me tell you what he did. He did a executive action, not an order. It's important that you understand this. He did an act action, which means he can only he's only going to suggest to DOJ and to ATF and other agencies what to do. <coughs> Excuse me. Where he's going after the ghost guns. Where he's going after the arm brace. Guys, don't go in panic mode. Now, one of the things we're going to talk about in this video is where I think they're going to get us, or at least try. <coughs> the American people, well, let's, let's rephrase this. The Democrats have been the best thing for the gun industry. And let me explain why I say that. Gun sales are up. I went by a gun shop the other day, was talking to the owner, and he looked at me and he says, look at my shelves. And I said, yeah, slim pickings. He said, that's right. And I can't get any more ordered. He says, I'm at least three to five months before I'll get replacements for what I've already sold. Cool. Because, you know, in my mind is, he's making money. Then my mind goes, wait a minute, if he can't get replacements for three to five months, oh my God, he's going to lose money. He's uh, Biden's also stated he was going to toughen up the uh, background check. In another video, we're going to talk about people who cleared the background check that shouldn't have and where the mistakes were made. Wasn't on the gun, sh gun store's fault. It wasn't on the FBI's fault. So, we'll talk about that in another video. Now, what he's trying to do, and it's so that you cannot, he's not going to be able to do anything about the ghost guns out already floating around. And I listened to a woman the other day from one of the gun groups, one of the anti-gun groups, saying ghost guns are, are a major problem. Let me tell you something. Before you guys flip me off and say you're crazy, legal gun owners are not the problem. Legal gun owners, people who do not have felonies, do not have mental, mental health history, they are not the problem. If they were the problem, you'd damn well know it because there's probably half a billion of us. But she was talking about how these ghost guns are found it at the scene of crimes and stuff. 
Let me tell you something, folks. Now, I could be wrong, and I've been wrong before. But I don't remember seeing a handgun as a ghost gun. Now, like I said, I could be wrong. Hell, until, until, until all this started, I wasn't paying much attention to ghost guns anyway. You know, I own everything I want, with the exception of a couple of small tweaks I'd like to change. Now, the background check takes anywhere from three to seven days. I don't know why. What he thinks he's going to increase, unless it's the waiting time. But what he's done is going to have no effect. Now, if ATF and DOJ come in and start tweaking the law, you know, twisting meanings like they did on the bump stock. You know, guys, I was not unhappy that the bump stock was no longer being able to be sold. I'll be honest with you. But I don't want one either. What bothered me was our pro-gun president allowed it to go through. because the lie was told that a bump stock was used in the Las Vegas shooting. Anybody who listens to that video or that audio from that shooting, those were full automatic weapons being used. Because it was, it was too fast and too regulated. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you how, how they're going to do their gun control to us. How they're going to do our gun control, they're not going to do an Australian style where they everybody's just got to bring their guns and watch them be crushed. That ain't going to happen. Americans would fight. I was shocked in 96 when the Australians just joined hands singing Kumbaya and throwing their guns into the crushers. They paid for that one. Let me tell you what gun control leads to. The lack of guns in civilized human beings who are not criminals to a surge in crime. In Australia, they had to rewrite laws because they had a new they had a new crime showing up. It's called home invasions. I remember a story being told. In '96, I was working for a company and I was fixing to go to Australia on business. And uh, I landed in Sydney, and I get talking to the guy who picked me up from the company, and we was discussing the gun control situation. And he, he flat looked at me and he said, he says, you know, I know you're a yank that you people over there like to keep your weapons. And I said, that's right. He said, I wish we'd have been more like you. He said, in the five months that they've done the gun control, collected all the guns, crime shot up 3,000% overall. I saw a ride up here not too long ago. 
<clears throat> but they're going to have to get rid of their liberal government to do it. But they're thinking about instating, reinstating their gun laws because crime's so rampant in Australia right now. Now, how are they going to, how are they going to institute gun control in this country? We're not going to be able to get ammunition. They're going to shut the ammunition off. My suggestion to you is find people who you know are reloaders. And buy from them. Keep it on the QT. Keep it on that down low. Real. You don't you don't brag about where you're getting your ammunition from, you just get it. And make sure you're not dealing with somebody. I've got a I had a dear friend who passed away back in December from COVID. He uh he and I used to go visit a couple other guys who had were gun loaders. And this one guy was bragging how he was hopping up rounds. They'll hit harder. And my friend looked at him and says, if you put too much in, you're going to blow a gun up and kill somebody. We went out to the guy's private little firing range out on his farm and what was the first thing he did? He he dropped a couple of shotgun rounds in and he said, I'm gonna show you what my hopped up rounds do. He popped it, popped the first one off. And we heard a little creak and a pop. And I step I started stepping back. And I told him, Don't fire the next round. He no more listened to me. He split the barrel of that Remington shotgun. He he split it about oh uh, from almost the crown all the way back. So my friend asked him what he how much powder he put in He put almost a half more grains in than was needed. My friend said, you're lucky it didn't explode in the chamber. The guy had to go back and redo all of the ammunition he'd been doing. So, with that being said, folks, I'm not going to tell you what to do if gun control comes around, but I will suggest get to know reloaders and, you know, guys who know what the heck they're doing. So, with that being said, I'm the Ancient Warrior. We're out.